Hi everyone and welcome to One Six Figure Focus and in this video we're going to take a look at the Hot Toys Scout Trooper from Return of the Jedi. Let's get started. So this is the Scout Trooper 6 scale figure by Hot Toys based in the likeness of the Scout Trooper from the film Star Wars Return of the Jedi. So at, at the moment, from what I can see on Sideshow, just counting Hot Toys Scout Troopers alone, there's four different versions. There's this one from Return of the Jedi, there is the Mandalorian version, uh, there is this with the speeder bike, and then there is um, the Mandalorian one with the speeder bike and Grogu as well. Now there's a few subtle differences between them all. I am a trooper collector. I will get a Scout Trooper eventually, just a case of, you know, do I get this one, do I get the Mandalorian one, and if I am picking one up, do I get the speeder bike from Return of the Jedi or from the Mandalorian? And again, like, like if I'm getting one, I'm not going to pick up several, it's going to be either or, and I don't even know if I'm going to go for the speeder bike because I tend not to collect vehicles, I have the back pod on order, I'm really looking forward to that, but in terms of space, and I like to, if I purchase something, I like to already have an idea in my head where I'm going to display it, I don't like putting things in boxes, just putting things around the place randomly, it's just... I, I don't like that approach, it should be displayed properly. But anyway, this is a pre-order product, it's $230 and it's due for release, this is a bit of a joke, um, the, July of this year, sometime between July and September. This one may come out within that window, okay? Because uh, they've done this before, it's very, very similar to the, you know, the Mandalorian Scout Trooper, obviously. Um, so like this, this may come out on time, I know a lot of things are getting delayed, but because they have a, you know, that version is very, very similar to this, maybe they'll push this out quicker. And a lot of times, we've seen before, sometimes troopers tend to get pushed out a little bit quicker because they're very similar. So this is pre-order product, it's $230, and it's due sometime between July and September of this year. Let's take a look at what he comes with. So this is the price of admission right here straight away. The actual the sniper rifle. Um, I don't have any figure that that comes with this particular rifle. And if I'm right, I do believe that the version of this that comes with the speeder bike. So if you're going to get the scout trooper and speeder bike from Return of the Jedi, I don't think you get this. And they're doing that on, on purpose so people order both basically. But it is, it's a nice piece, and uh, we'll take a closer look at that later on. So let's take a look at everything that he comes. It's fairly straightforward. So it's your standard scout trooper comes with this uh, sniper rifle that I've just mentioned. Swap out hands, base, that I won't use if we do get it. Uh, you have a hand blaster as well, and then it just kind of outlines the different, um, I suppose the different parts of the uniform, which we're gonna look into a bit further here. Yeah, we'll start at number one, why not? Yeah, so look, straight off, that looks great. Simple pose, that's, if, if I got it, that's probably the pose I would put it on the shelf. Just straight up like that, looking down slightly. Um, two hands on the the sniper just across the chest like that i think that looks very very good immediately i'm noticing it's not like a perfect white you know there's some stains and nicks there's a few nicks there's definitely some weathering uh definitely some wear and tear here uh he does look like he's spent a bit of time in the forest as well i think maybe it's just mirrors there are hints that some of these marks are kind of like green and stuff maybe that represents branches and stuff uh, hitting off him that's a nice touch if so Actually, that's another very nice pose as well you can do, and I like the way you can you have a little holster. I only notice this side holster here. That's a nice touch. So a little side arm can be put in the holster on the right leg. I personally obviously wouldn't use the base. It just takes me out of a fair cleaner look. And look, these figures are good enough. The articulation is good enough, and the joints is good enough that you can actually have them freestanding. Yeah, I really, really like the look of this. I'm actually leaning towards this. I was originally leaning towards picking up the, um, the Scout Trooper and Speeder Bike from the Mandalorian. But now... Um, because again, original trilogy figures, they're, they're few and far between. They have been kind of slowly giving us more, like we've seen Lando drop during the year. We've had uh, multiple Lukes on the way. You have that Snowspeeder Luke, which you have in pre-order. You have the Bespin Luke, which uh, was, was announced there recently. So it's great that they're actually still um, doing some original trilogy figures. So I, I probably nearly lean towards this one. And again, like I am, I'm a, a trooper collector, so um this is definitely going to appeal to me and I, I like the thought of getting something from the original trilogy yes this all looks really really good i like the way it's kind of it's kind of chunkier i think than the um the mandalorian one or maybe that's my imagination yeah again there's that sniper rifle looks very well very simple poses like all these poses like the one across the chest or the one when he's holding it with one arm or even i really like that one when he has it over the shoulder um yeah even just the way he's holding it like that that looks good as well. It's one of the thing is, if I was look, if, I, if if I'm getting this and I'm posing it, it's going to be posed with that sniper rifle. There's no way I'm just going to use this. I definitely put that in. That even looks good in the holster on the right leg, like I pointed out earlier on. 
yeah even you can see it really weathered up here in the back i just i just love the details like this is this is um hot toys kind of at its finest um just it's not just a straight shiny looking figure like they put in the detail with the, the kind of nicks in the paint the staining and i'm pretty sure like a lot of this is slightly green as well which makes sense because he's on endor he's in a forest moon like uh, even the gun itself it's not a straight black it's like chipped has little bits of weathering on him as well um just the length of this thing it's pretty big this here is just a fun fact now i believe i'm right on this I heard people looking at this saying, oh look, it's not closed properly, like, you know, uh, Sideshow have dropped the ball on this. Now, I'm not sure, it doesn't bother me at all, but I, I'm pretty sure that's because the actor's head was too big for the helmet. Now, I'm not sure if that was true of the original trilogy or of the Mandalorian version, but I'm pretty sure in one of them, it might have been the Mandalorian one, if it was a Benton Man, I'd say the Mandalorian one, that's why... Uh, there's a gap there but i think people were complaining because the gap wasn't there in the original trilogy again it, it look if you know which one uh that happened in just let me know in the comment section down below so either this one or the mandalorian scout trooper had a gap and that was because the actor's head it was actually screen accurate because the actor's head was too big and the helmet was too small and it wouldn't close properly so there's a little uh, nerdy fun fact now there you have the speeder bike obviously this isn't the speeder bike version this is just 230 dollars the speeder bike and this uh, if you were to get the speeder bike version with scout trooper i think it's 505 so a significant jump up in price speeder bike looks good um i'm sure it's a lot better build than the sideshow version as well i think that thing's a bit of a disaster from what i've seen yeah look that's pretty much it for this video um if you uh want to support the channel like the video subscribe to the channel and leave a comment let me know if you're a trooper collector or not does this appeal to you or not or actually if you've watched to the end just uh maybe comment uh, mandalorian version or return of the jedi version to see which one you prefer even whether you're getting it or not and um, also follow me on instagram and follow me on twitter and um yeah thanks very much for the if you're watching and subscribed I've got about 500 subscribers now in a relatively short period of time really really happy with this um yeah that's pretty much it see you in the next one good luck